Two months ago, Bitcoin was worth $24,000. And now, $38,000. Jesus Christmas. In this video, I'll teach you how to set up your M1 MacBook Air for Bitcoin mining. Oh, and it works for any kind of Mac. So if you have any Mac, you can do this setup too. Let's begin. So here's M1 MacBook Air base model. Before you download the tool for mining, you need to create your account first. So go to a website called pool.btc.com. This kind of website is to make your Bitcoin account and also to manage your Bitcoin you have mined. I joined this website since I started mining. I want to show you how to sign up, so I'll sign up a new account. As you can see, you can create an account through mobile phone number or your email. I'm gonna do an email. Now put your email address on there and press next and you need to verify your email address. So you'll get an email that will send you the code and you put the code and you continue signing up. As you can see, it says put a verification code to your email. So I just put the verification code and I press next. I need to put a password, but you need to combine with the numbers and symbols and yeah. Now we are in this page. This step is quite important. This sub account name is the username you will need to use mining software. So when you actually use the mining tool, then you need to put this sub account name, not your email address. And if you want a Bitcoin Cash or other cryptocurrency, you can switch. But we are doing a Bitcoin today, so just leave it there as a Bitcoin. And down here, select your region. Now I'm in Canada and US is the closest one, so I'll press US. And this one, we don't need to do it. We can skip it for now and press Create and Mining. It's done. Now I'm in the dashboard. This is where you can see the Bitcoin you mined. You can see the hash rate here and you can see the graph and you can see how much money you actually made. I mean the Bitcoin. Now let's set up for mining tool. To mine Bitcoin on your Mac, you need to download BFG Miner. To download it, Google BFG Miner Mac. You'll see this official website, but we're not going there because they only have a Windows version, not for Mac or Linux. So visit this website instead. This is macminer.fabulouspanda.com. They made a Mac version of BFG Miner. So here, BFG Miner for Mac OS X. And BFG Miner 5.4.2. Download this. There we go. Now we download the BFG Miner here. So go to BFG Miner, go to bin, then you'll see this BFG Miner. Double click it. Then it shows an error. What is this? BFG Miner can't be opened because the identity of developer cannot be confirmed. So just press OK. So how do we fix this? How do we run BFG Miner? So just press OK for now. Go to Apple logo on the top left, click it, and go to system preferences right there. And go to security and privacy right there. Then you'll see the screen. And as you can see down here, it says BFG Miner was blocked from use because the identity of the developer blah blah blah. Just click open anyway. Then it shows the same error, but you know, it's asking if you're gonna open it, so press open. And now it shows another error. It says lip micro HTTP blah, blah, blah. This is not, you know, cannot be verified, so it's not gonna be work. Move to trash, blah, blah, blah. Press cancel. And there's another one, just press cancel too. And now it's not actually working. Just close this BFG miner for now. As you can see, you just Press the button, right? Press allow anyway. You have to open the BFG miner again. Now it shows 
same error but now you can actually open it so press open and it shows another error like this so press cancel again cancel and go back to the security and privacy and press allow anyway and you have to close this BFG miner again and run again and press open um, for some reason BFG miner is logging in automatically because I want to show you guys how to log in and I don't know how to fix it for now so I'll show you how to log in on BFG miner in my 16 inch MacBook Pro so if you guys followed my instruction then this console shows up now you need to connect to Bitcoin server how do we do that how do we find the Bitcoin server and connect here it's simple go back to your dashboard and scroll down a bit you'll see this mining address copy this first one I think this is the only one worked in my experience anyways yeah copy this and paste right here then now you need to type your username do you remember your sub account name that's the one you need to put and the password wait a little bit boom then this screen shows up and now I'm gonna go back to my M1 MacBook Air now I'm back to M1 MacBook Air and if you followed my instruction correctly then you'll see this screen and seems like it's working but it's not done yet it's almost done it says no device is found press M and plus to add so what I'm gonna do is press M button then now shows plus to add devices or enter to close the device manager I'll press the plus button right here and now it says enter target if you're an expert on crypto mining like Bitcoin mining then you know what to do but but if you're new to uh, Bitcoin mining then on here we're just gonna put auto so what it does is it's gonna find uh, you know Bitcoin like uh, blocks automatically I think that's what it means anyways just put auto here and press return it's initializing and it says slash to find processor blah 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 so after that just press return key and now it shows this screen it looks like it's not working right now but it is actually working we just need to wait for a little bit longer it's been about 15 minutes and still it doesn't show anything I thought something was going on and I realized I need to change the pool management here so press P, P for the pool management, then it shows this one. Now the strategy is fail over. You need to change the strategy if it's fail over. So press C, then it shows this kind of strategy right here. I'm just going to go to um, balance. So press 4, return key and now it's changed and let's wait for another minute after like one minute now i found the block it says stratum from pool zero detected new block now it's working and since it's working now i'm gonna wait for another hour and let's check if it's working properly and if it shows anything on the dashboard but as you can see it's using the battery right now it's not powered so I'm just gonna put this cord in so maybe it's gonna have a better performance I'll see you in an hour so it's been like an hour and like 25 minutes ish and it's working perfectly fine as you can see it detected new blocks right here and I think they updated information to the pool let's check the dashboard so I came back to pool.btc.com and now it shows the real time how many mega hashes I get 
and right here it has a hash rate chart and it shows from here to here if you put your cursor on it then it shows like how many uh, mega hashes you got but I'm not a professional so maybe you can change some settings to make it faster like you know change some manage devices and pull management or settings here if you find a better setting on BFG Miner, then please share it comments down below so other people can find it helpful. If you like this video and if it was really helpful to you, then please subscribe my channel for more videos. And if you have any question, then please leave your comments down below as well. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in my next video.